stand-up right now. That was like a new bit. It bombed, and now I'm going to go to a proven joke that I've told 600 times and make it sound brand new. All right, here we go. Advice. Bill, uh, I recently got dumped by my girlfriend um, through behaving like an idiot. To be honest, in her shoes, I would have done the same thing with the difference that I would have given I would have given me a second chance. For the record, no, I didn't cheat on her. Instead, I found myself getting quite broody. I think that means depressed. Uh, with all the heaviness that goes with that. Um, who knew that that can happen to men too? I certainly didn't. What does broody mean? What does it mean to be brooding? Isn't that what What's-His-Face did in Rumblefish? Matt Dillon? Isn't that how he got all, he got all his, his, uh, his acting work? They used to always say he had the, the brooding good looks. So what happened? You, <laughs> you'd be in the apartment with your girlfriend. She'd be trying to talk to you. And you'd be leaned up against one wall, you know, one foot on the floor, the other one up against the wall. And she'd be like, what do you want for breakfast? And then you just sort of look, you know, you look to the side. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. <laughs> Did you have a cigarette pack rolled up in your T-shirt? What the fuck is broody? I don't know what that is. Anyway, see, uh, she goes, um, he goes, I believe I'm through that madness now. And yet, while I was only with her for about three months, I miss her companionship terribly. I think he means he was depressed. Anyways, he goes, I sent her some flowers to say I was sorry, but she says she doesn't want to see or talk with me. Although she says she will contact me in the future when some other other heavy shit she's going through right now is over. Um, I feel I owe the situation one last roll of the dice at the very least. Do you have any suggestions? Yeah, you guys need to not be near each other. All right? First of all, if you want her to call you back, don't call her. All right? Because you're going to sound even more brooding as you're standing there crying with a bouquet of flowers or whatever. Whatever the fuck you're going through. And then this whole thing where she says uh, she'll contact you in the future when some heavy shit she's going through right now is over with, you know. I'm thinking of that movie Barfly. You guys both like alcoholics? What is the heavy shit she's got to get through? The fucking 12-pound meat hammer she's going to be riding tonight? I'm not trying to be a dick, but... um. Look, what you got to do right now, okay, if you're out sitting there brooding and you're all depressed, you're probably not coming across as someone she wants to mate with who's going to bring her some strong offspring, okay, to get all Discovery Channel on you. So what you got to do is you got to show her that you're a man. So what you got to do is just let her go, all right, and start going to the fucking gym, all right, get an eight hours sleep, you start eating right, you start, you make yourself look good, you make improvements in your own life. So the next time she sees you, if you run into her, you look great. All right? What was that fucking Rodney Danger, Dangerfield thing? What was that movie where they were doing the Cyrano de Bergerac shit? Remember that? Chico, tell her you're the man. Remember that? That's what you got to do. Next time she sees you, you're, the, you're fucking confident. Nah, that's bad advice. What, are you going to pretend to be confident? I don't know. I'm just saying, you know what, dude? Focus on yourself. Get your own shit together. You know, and don't wait for her to call you, you know. Start working out, eating right, getting some sleep. Go do some shit you always wanted to fucking do, you know. And go out to the, you know, go out to clubs. Start talking to girls who are quote-unquote way out of your league. See what see what the fuck happens, you know. But the last thing you want to do right now, I swear to God, is to sit around thinking about that girl or, or calling her or sending her flowers and a box of chocolates and all that shit because, uh... You know, she needs a break from you, I think. And granted, once again, I give out this advice knowing that I, I didn't really go to college. I did, but it doesn't really count. And I have no background whatsoever, and I don't fucking read. So you're on your own if you take my advice. I take no responsibility for this shit whatsoever, all right? And not to mention, there's a zillion fucking chicks out there. Why don't you go join one of those dating services? That's a great fucking way to get laid, you know? Someone was talking to me about that the other day. You know, there's like two of them. One of them's about really getting into a relationship and the other one's just about fucking. Join the one that's just about fucking and uh, go buy, go down to BJ's Wholesale and get some condoms and bang away. All right? But the last thing you want to do is to get all fucking depressed about this shit and waste another couple months of your life brooding. All right? Dust yourself off. 
get back in the game. All right? All right, next one. Hey, Bill, uh, I got an interesting uh, situation going on. I've been really good friends with this guy, friend. I'll do that.